ओपन ए आई हैज ऑफिशियली लॉन्च इट्स ओन ए आई क्लासीफायर फॉर आइडेंटिफाइंग वेदर ए गिवन टेक्स्ट इज ए आई रिटर्न और ह्यूमन रिटर्न सो टूडे दे आर लॉन्चिंग अ क्लासीफायर अ क्लासीफायर इन मशीन लर्निंग इज अ मशीन लर्निंग ऑलगोरदम दैट कैन क्लासीफाई अ गिवन इनपुट इन टू ए और बी और समटाइम्स ए बी सी सो दिस इज वॉट अ क्लासीफायर इज एंड दिस पर्टिक्युलर क्लासीफायर फ्रॉम ओपन ए आई कैन क्लासीफाई और डिस्टिंग विश whether a given text is human written or ai written but before you think that this is going to be game changer we need to see the accuracy of what this can do so open ai has particularly claimed that this is not fully reliable in fact their true positive rate is only 26% at this moment i'm not going to get into the detail of accuracy but all you have to remember is this is not a perfect tool but where is it going to be useful open ai is claiming that there are a lot of information misinformation campaigns automated using tools like chat gpt or gpt3 students cheating in their academy so which is using ai tools for academic dishonesty and positioning an ai chatbot as a human so these are certain use cases that open ai has particularly highlighted and said okay if you are going to face any of these things you might want this classifier that can classify whether a given text text is ai written or human written and also of course they are saying that they are making the classifier public to get feedback we know what open ai does with the prompts and text that we use but for now you can use the classifier directly from here all you have to do is go to platform.openai.com/ai-text-classifier and you have got certain limitations that they have highlighted but before we get into the limitations let's take the tool for a spin so when you click the ai text classifier this is the page that you are going to be greeted with it's a very simple page it says ai text classifier is a fine tuned gpt model that predicts how likely it is that a piece of text was generated by ai from a variety of sources such as gpt and this classifier is available as a tool to spark discussion on ai literacy not sure what kind of discussion it is going to spark but looks like they are taking some claims from the educational department like professors very seriously and they are trying to do so what are the limitations of this tool you need at least 1000 characters if you have got a tweet and you want to validate whether the tweet is ai generated or human generated no of course it cannot work because it needs minimum 1000 characters the classifier is not always accurate and it can also mislabel both ai generated and human generated text what does it mean if there is a university professor who is going to blindly use this thing and automatically assume that their student has used ai just because the tool has flagged then they are obviously wrong and then the ai generated text can also be edited to evade the classifier and this works particularly well for english and it doesn't work for non english okay let's get started and then try the classifier you have got a couple of examples i'm not going to go with the examples but first i'm going to try out wikipedia content i'm going to go to this page from logan movie i'm going to copy this i hope that this has got 1000 characters come back here paste it and submit it and the result says the classifier considers the text to be very unlikely ai generated may be good because i don't think people on wikipedia are still using chat gpt or gpt3 to generate text so makes sense i'm going to clear this i'm going to go here and the copy this article so this article especially this article very clearly says chat gpt wrote part of this article and it did not go great so we know for sure that part of this article has been written by chat gpt but what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the entire thing and i'm going to paste it and see what is going to do so i'm going to paste the entire thing and click submit it says the classifier considers the text to be very unlikely ai generated what it didn't tell us is that part of this text is ai generated and it didn't also highlight anything for example i'm going to check go to the same article and there is a particular part in this that is chat gpt generated that is this part in italics i'm going to copy this and i'm going to go back and then i'm going to paste it now i'm going to submit 
Now it says that the classifier considers the text to be possibly, not very likely, not likely, possibly AI generated despite we know that as a matter of fact, the author themselves identified that this is AI generated. It works fine. You can see that it says possibly AI generated. But as a matter of fact, when you have got AI generated text along with human generated text, it doesn't do a good job. Also, I'm quite surprised that they didn't give a score. They resorted to like a binary value saying, um, I mean, there could be a score. That's why they're saying possibly likely, very likely and all those things. But uh, you can see very unlikely, likely, unlikely, unclear if it's possible, possibly likely. But uh, a score would have been probably better in my opinion. You know, that's that's up to how somebody makes a call. And now when you look at the examples, you've got human written, you have got AI written and you have got a misclassified human written. So this text, it's a human written, but when you submit it and it is going to say it's likely AI generated, which is not true in this particular case because this is human written. And now that is how the tool works. There are a lot of already other tools available like GPT-0 is something that we covered on this channel. We have got a GPT detector, which is a GPT-2 model. And now we have got a dedicated fine tuned GPT model from OpenAI that claims to have uh, good capabilities, which in fact, like they're saying that this is better than their previous tool and this is available for anybody to use. I am excited about this tool. I think a lot of professors would be excited in using this tool, but what I'm not sure is or what I am surprised that OpenAI has not made it very clear and a lot of professors would not understand this just completely blindly believing a tool like this, which is not highly accurate. Once again, just to remember the numbers, it has a true positive rate of 26%, which means it says 26% of the cases, it has truly identified that it is AI written as likely AI written while incorrectly labeling human written text as AI written 9% of the time, which is what we call as false positive. But again, according to OpenAI, this is better than the previously released classifiers. I've seen some examples where people have said that they've literally copied and pasted chat GPT content into this. And then it has still said it is human generated. I don't know how it is going to do for different type of content. Like for example, uh, poems, uh, short stories and all those things. Uh, but this is an official tool. We have got this tool. We know that OpenAI will definitely make this tool better. I hope this tool can help you understand AI generated text better in your workflow. If you have got any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll link this tool in the YouTube description. Make sure you check it out. See you in the next video. Happy prompting.